What constitutes a humane society? How we treat each other? What are the prerequisites to a decent life for all people? And specifically for American people? And that is what we have fought for. That has been the essence of the black freedom struggle. But what we fought for was an ideal that was far more democratic than Thomas Jefferson had the capacity to imagine. But it was not an ideal that was race-based. It was an ideal that was anchored to the human condition. That's how Martin Luther King Jr. understood it. That's how Whitney understood it. Is it possible to dismantle structural racism in America? In other words, are white people simply just racist and there's nothing you can do about it? And at times, many black people have struggled with this question. One of the truly glorious things that has happened is that, in part, part of that debate now has been resolved. Our people have been able, through struggle but also sacrifice, to envision a democracy where we would be judged not on the basis of the color of our skin but on the content of our character. A democracy that would not be race-based but a democracy that would recognize the inequities and the injustices that have been borne by Americans of color, by Native Americans and Latinos and African Americans, and reach out and give people access and opportunity to be at the national table. And that's not a handout. That's making democracy finally live up to its creed. And this is what King knew and, and achieved in his lifetime. The ability of an African-American leader to be thoroughly grounded in that black experience, but to speak to everyone as a national figure. It's been very difficult for us to do this because we get racialized. I try to do this in my own writing. I write from the black experience, but I speak to everyone. So that the truths that we speak to resonate at the core of Americans because as Martin's um, eloquent I Have a Dream address does, because it resonates because there is real social meaning and depth to what is being said. If I can just hear both Whitney and Martin, when there are 47, 48 million Americans who in 2008, 2009, don't have health care, when millions are homeless, uh, today, on this day, about 10,000 Americans' homes were foreclosed and we're losing 10,000 a day every day now during this recession, economic recession, we still have a long way to go before we have the prerequisites to a decent life, to, to fairness and to economic justice. Those are the things that this movement, that's why it's the black freedom movement. That's why we fought for. Those were the things we wanted.